Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing something pretty fun. One of my friends, Person Rainbow, suggested that I put different Wings of Fire character names through Google Translate and see what crazy results I get. So after putting a ton of character names through seven different languages and then back to English, I got some very weird ones in return. I'll be sharing with you guys some of my favorites and ones that were absolutely bizarre. If you like, try guessing which one each is supposed to be down in the comments below. But before I begin, a huge shout out to my patrons. Three Moons, Jack1195, and Bombier. Thank you so much for supporting me. Links to their social medias are in the description down below. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video. Starting off with some of the protagonists, these ones made absolutely zero sense and I have no idea how they got lost in translation this badly. For Clay, this one is impossible to guess. You'd probably be thinking I'd end up with something like Earth, Adobe, or a word that has a similar meaning, right? Nope. I got volume. What in the world? How did it go from Clay to volume? I'm so confused. For Tsunami, I think this one got lost in translation the most. I ended up with... Floor. Ah yes, the fierce seeming dragon out of destiny, Floor. Okay, but seriously, this is nothing like Tsunami. What happened to Google Translate? With Glory, I got to Honor. Not sure where the infinitive came from, although Honor is kind of similar, so I'll give them that. But man, don't ever use Google Translate for your homework, because you can end up with some pretty wacky miscommunication. For Peril, I actually had an adjective that could describe her and her name, which was dangerous. Not bad, although I was kind of surprised this one didn't end up back to the original word like it did with Starflight, Winter, Moonwatcher, and Sunny. With Turtle, I got a different animal entirely. Tortoise. I can see where they got this, but these are not the same creatures. Now, Keebler's name shocked me completely. I don't know what I was expecting, but maybe just the same name since there wasn't a word for it in other languages. But alas, I was wrong. And this one is impossible to guess, but put in your best assumption. You'd probably think another desert term, right? Well, you'd be wrong. After putting Kibli through seven languages and then back into English on Google Translate, I wound up with Cyber. I am very confused how it got to that. Cyber is a cool name, though. As for Snowfall, I got a snowy term, but a lot more of an intense one. Avalanche. Okay, it's not bad, even though it's far off from her actual name, although we do see a skywing in the books named Avalanche. And to end off the protagonists, for Luna, the end result was month. No, not moth, like the Luna moth, but month. What in the world? How did Google Translate give me month? I am totally lost. Moving on to side slash supporting characters, for Mangrove, I got Mangroves, plural. I don't know where that came from, but I'll take it. Jambu's Google Translate name made me absolutely want to fall over from laughter. Take a good guess as to what it could possibly come up with. Your guess will probably be far off, because I ended up with gigantic. Gigantic? What? I am so concerned. Another one that had me practically dying of laughter, because it was so oddly specific and strange, was Fate Speakers. I got Spokesman of Destiny. Ah uh, yes, I love the character Spokesman of Destiny. But really, this one is just hilarious. I can see how this got lost in translation, but it's just too funny to me. For webs, it gave me website. I can see where it was coming from, but those are not the same thing. And webs' parents must have been time travelers to know the internet would exist. Website, oh wow. But for Hailstorm was completely wrong, and it got totally mixed up. Nothing could be more inaccurate than granules, which means a little grain or small particle. Uh, no. Hail is not tiny particles. I think anybody who has ever experienced a Hailstorm can tell you that from experience. Fierce Teeth's name was on the right track, replacing Fierce with Brutal. Brutal Teeth doesn't have the best ring to it, but hey, at least it tried. That name honestly just sounds even sillier than a fierce teeth, which I didn't know could be possible. You guys are not ready for Mighty Claws, though. Think of your best guess, prepare to laugh as hard as I did with the result. 
You ready? Strong nails. Mighty Claws turned into Strong Nails. No! They turned an actually pretty cool name into a very ridiculous and outlandish one. If your parents name you Strong Nails, then they're just wanting for you to get bullied. And lastly, for the side and supporting characters, I wanted to try out Earwig's name to see what I would get. Ended up with... Eardrums. I I'm done. I, I can't take it anymore. Finally, we'll be moving to the antagonists and villains, so get ready, because they only get worse from here. For Vulture, I got a way less intimidating animal. I have no idea how Google Translate got me to cat, but I guess the villain's name and appearance have drastically gotten a drowned grade. Imagine heading into the territory of the oh-so-scary, infamous cat. Yeah, I'd totally be shaking in my boots. Scarlet, I got a different color entirely. Purple. I guess the languages just don't have an exact translation for the word Scarlet, but I think it's safe to say that Purple and Scarlet are not the same. Just like with Vulture slash Cat, I'd be so scared to find out I'm being executed by the one and only Purple. Great naming choices, Google Translate. Not. The result for Cottonmouth was utterly bizarre and totally strange. They got the cotton pot right, but it added a new word. Ready to meet the mastermind of WAF, Cotton here. Yes, you heard me right, cotton here. No idea where that came from. I could see where they were going with icicles, but a stalactite is not made of ice. If I were she, I would be pretty offended, seeing as a falling stalactite is what almost killed her. Yeah, we better not show this video to Icicle. If you thought Spokesman of Destiny was bad, I bet you'll love the name for Moros here. Google Translate gave me, see you in the morning. I was so confused when I saw this that I just started laughing. What an intimidating name. Okay, but I have no idea how it turned from Morosir into see you in the morning. I get the general idea, but these words and their meanings are vastly different. And lastly for the video, Whirlpool's new name was pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. I got Storm. While it doesn't fit the character, I still think it would be cool to see a seeming with this name. And I just picked up this video. Which name is your favorite, and would you like a part two? Let me know down below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.